that would be a numerical number one. A simple carburetor has a venturi of throat diameter eight centimeter, and the coefficient of discharge is zero point ninety four. The fuel orifice has a diameter of 0.5 cm and its coefficient of discharge is 0.7. Find the air fuel ratio if the pressure drop amount is 0.14 bar and we have the two cases when the first case is nozzle tip is neglected and second the nozzle tip is taken into account and it is equals to 0.5 centimeters. Assume the density of fuel is 780 kg per meter cube and the density of air is 1.293 kg per meter cube. Neglect the compressibility of air. So student here, this word is having a meaning that we need to go for the approximate analysis method, not for exact analysis method. As in the numerical itself, it is mentioned that neglect the compressibility effect of air. So it is indirectly given that we have to go for analysis of simple carburetor by approximate me methods. So just I'm writing over here, it indicates approximate analysis of simple carburetor. So students, first of all, as per the our method for solving the numerical, I just tried the given data. So first, the throat diameter is given. So I write as a DA, which is 8 centimeters, and which is equals to 8 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters. Then the coefficient of discharge is given for the throat and that is a 0.94. Then the diameter of fuel orifice is given that is indicated by DF and which is a 0.5 centimeter. So again, it is a 0.5 into 10 to the power minus two meter. Then the coefficient of discharge for the fuel orifice is given and that is a 0 0.7. Then delta P is given, which is 0 0.14 bar. So we need to convert it into the Newton per meter square. So it is into 10 to the power five Newton per meter square. Then we have the density of air is there, that is 1.293 kg per meter cube. And the density of fuel is given, that is 780 kg per meter cube. Now students, we are going to solve the case one and case two. So for case A, So students, we know that the air fuel ratio for approximate analysis as well as when the nozzle tip is neglected, the formula is mass of air upon mass of fuel equals to the coefficient of discharge of air divided by coefficient of discharge of fuel into area of air or we can write A2 then area of fuels into the square root of the density of air divided by density of fuel. So here we know that the area is of pi by four d square. So we just write the expressions that it is a pi by four d a to the power two divided by pi by four df to the power 2 into the square root of rho a upon rho f. This pi by 4 is cancelled out. Now we put it down the value of the coefficient of discharge for air is given that is 0 0.94 and the coefficient of discharge for the fuel orifice is 0 0.7. Then the diameter of the Throat venturi is 8 centimeter. 
so it is 8 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole to the power 2 divided by the nozzle is 0 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole to the power 2 into the density of air is 1.293 and the density of fuel is 780 which is under the square root by solving this all we get the air fuel ratio is 13.99 so it is near about 14 now students we go for the case 2 or we can write a case B the air fuel ratio is mass of air upon mass of fuel equals to this formula is somewhat modified it is area of air upon area of fuels into the square root of density of air upon density of fuel into the delta p that is a pressure difference divided by delta p minus z g into rho f that is the density of fuel it is under the square root students we have already calculated the value of this term and that is a 13.99 so we just put down the value of this delta p z g and rho f and then we get the ratio of air to fuel so i just write that it is a 13.99 into the delta p is 0 0.14 into 10 to the power 5 divided by 0 0.14 into 10 to the power 5 which is under the square root and here it is minus z so the nozzle tip is given that is 0 0.5 centimeter so it becomes a 0 0.005 into 9.81 that is gravitational constant and the density of fuel is 780 so finally we get the answer of the square root is 13.99 which is multiplied by 1.001 so we get the answer 14.009 so students here we have the two different answer that air fuel ratio when we consider the nozzle tip and the air fuel ratio in the simple carburetor when we neglect the nozzle tip so this is very simple numerical this numerical is asked in the four mark two times in the gto examinations the next numerical that is a numerical number two numerical number two, air fuel ratio of a mixture supplied to an engine by the carburetor is 15 is to 1 the fuel consumption of an engine is 7.5 kg per hour the diameter of venturi is 2.2 centimeters find the diameter of a fuel nozzle if the tip of nozzle is 4 millimeter Take the following specifications for the calculations. The density of fuel used is 750 kg per meter cube. The CD means the coefficient of discharge of air is 0 0.82. The coefficient of discharge for fuel is 0 0.7. The atmospheric pressure is 1.01325 bar. The atmospheric temperature is 25 degrees centigrade. So students here, uh, we need to apply the same formula of a simple carburetor because there is no uh, compressibility effect we need to consider so we go with approximate analysis for the simple carburetor and we apply the formula of the air fuel ratio for the simple carburetor by approximate methods but before starting the solving of this numerical I just write the given data here the mass of air divided by mass of fuel ratio is given and that is a 50 divided by 1 or 50 is to 1 then second the mass of fuel is there and that is a 7.5 kg 
for r then the diameter of venturi is given and that is a 2.2 cm that is a 2.2 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters the diameter of a fuel nozzle is unknown so we need to find it out then the tip of fuel nozzle is given that is a 4 millimeter which is equals to 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter then the density of fuel is given that is 750 kg per meter cube then the cd of air is given and that is 0 0.82 the cd of fuel is given that is 0.7 the atmospheric pressures is given 1.013 bar which is equals to 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square the temperature of ambient atmospheric is given that is a 25 degree centigrade we need to convert this temperature into the kelvin so we need to add the 273 our temperature is 298 Kelvin. So this is the given data and we need to find it out this a diameter of a fuel nozzle. So let we apply the formula of air fuel ratio. So we know that mass of air upon mass of fuel equals to the coefficient of discharge of air divided by coefficient of discharge of fuel into the area of air divided by area of fuels into the density of air divided by density of fuels in the square root then there is the delta p divided by delta p minus z g into rho f is also under the square root now students here the air fuel ratio is given that is a 50 is to 1 the coefficient of discharge for air is given that is a 0.82 the coefficient of discharge of fuel is 0.7 5 by 4 we cancel it out so we just have the diameter of venturi divided by the diameter of fuel orifice or fuel nozzle so it is 2.2 .2 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole to the power 2 divided by unknown that is a df to the power 2 into the density of air is 1.29 divided by the density of a fuel it is a 750 so which is under the square root into the ambient pressure is given that is 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 divided by say 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 minus the nozzle tip is given that is a 4 millimeters so 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 the gravitational constant is 9.81 into the density of fuel that is a 750 which is under the square root so finally we make the subject that is a df to the power 2 finally for the df square we get 1.566 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square if we take the square root then we get the df equals to 1.25 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter and if we convert into the centimeter then we get a 0 0.125 centimeter that is a diameter of a fuel nozzle so this is our final answer